think the phone will stay right there. <clears throat> These are some of the final cuts, cutting an HX40 flange uh, off of a Marmot. Done this so many times that you just kind of know where the numbers are. Kind of rough it in. You take your last couple cuts and then you clean up the edges as far as the radius on the back. And it will come in and we will face the front. So on this particular lathe, after I make contact, I go around a full revolution on my hand wheel. And then 30 thou extra is the final cut. So we're at 120 right here, a whole revolution in 20. And I will go back and clean this up to my original cut. And it'll take off big chips. Come back in, go in 10 farther. Back up and slowly come out. And that's gonna clean up that bottom valley. You see the bigger chips as I'm touching the face, the radius on the other side, and I've already got my tool set at 20 degrees here, which is the radius of the back cut, and then we'll just walk out of that. I'm not quite done, I gotta switch tools out, so we'll take this tool off. Whoop. take that distance right there to an acceptable thickness for the HX40 plans. And I typically just do this here by hand and eyeballing because you can get it close. This particular piece, we're not building the clock. So we don't got to tear this down perfect. It's just got to be within a, uh, a range. And that's pretty money. I like it in the 160s. And that's an HX40 plan.